Hey folks, welcome to Software Testing Hacks. In this video, let's talk about what is static testing and what is dynamic testing. And also let's discuss what is the difference between these two different testing types. Let's get started. Before we begin, if you have not subscribed to the channel, please do subscribe to the channel. Let's start. Let's talk about static testing first. Static testing is a type of software testing in which software application is tested without code execution. Basically, we will not execute any code here, which means that it is a type of verification. Manual or automated reviews of code requirement documents and document design are done in order to find the errors. Here, any kind of reviews can happen. Okay, we will get the peer review done or we will get through some of the reviews over the call okay and we will show like how, what is the documentation that we have made in case of either it could be from the code standpoint or anything any documentation perspective we will not execute the code but basically we will walk them through whatever we have done or documented the main objective of static testing is to improve the quality of the software application by finding the errors in early stages of the software development process. So, as it states here, the main objective here is to find the defect or errors in the early stage of the development process. What happens? Suppose we have documented the requirement. Okay. We will have a call and we will review it so that if there are some flaws in that requirement we can get it fixed then and there itself if we later find that there is some issue with that again if we have to change it it takes a lot of effort right so in the early stage itself we can find it through this review or static testing this review is done during the initial phase of the testing to catch defect early in SDLC or SDLC also. It is part of uh, anything, even the code review, it can happen or any even in the testing phase also can happen. In testing phase, while, whenever we write the test case, whenever we write the test plan, so all these will be documented, right? And coming to the example, the requirement specification whatever we have okay so that is an example for static testing so that we can consider for static testing test plans test cases test script so these are the things that we can review that is part of the static testing and there are some of the techniques uh, for the static technique one is informal review. We can just informally get that reviewed from the peer or also technical review. We can have the technical team along with us and we can demonstrate or give a walkthrough of whatever we have done. And another is walkthrough and inspection. These are the different static uh, testing techniques. Going ahead to dynamic testing. Dynamic testing is a software testing method used to test the dynamic behavior of the software code. Here, we will execute the code basically. In static testing, we will not execute, but just we will go through or go like overview of whatever we have documented that we will provide it in static testing. But in case of dynamic testing, we will check the dynamic behavior of the software by executing the code. The main purpose of dynamic testing is to software is to test software behavior with dynamic values. Okay. The code must be executed in order to test the dynamic behavior. For example, let's consider a login page which is having username and password. For that field, we will have to test it with different set of values. And to match the condition, suppose say uh, the username should not contain any type of, uh, uh, you know, special characters or something. So if that is the criteria, we will have to test it with dynamic lot of values we have to put and then test it to confirm that it is not taking or accepting the value which it should not accept. 
so those type of testing can be handled by this dynamic testing which requires the execution of the code and now let's talk about the difference between the static testing and then the dynamic testing so as we discussed this testing is done without executing the program okay and whereas the dynamic testing here the testing is done by executing the program so that is the major difference between static testing and dynamic testing this testing does the verification process basically here we are verifying so this is a part of verification okay static testing is part of verification process and dynamic testing is a kind of validation process it follows the uh, you know dynamic testing it follows the validation process basically static testing is about prevention of the defects so before it is uh, you know been developed and then we find the defect so in static testing we will prevent it in the early stage so that's why it is like static testing in case of dynamic testing it is about the finding the defect and fixing the defect okay so there is a slight difference in early stage itself we will find the defect in static testing which is good but when it comes to dynamic testing we will have to find the defect if there is any defect that exists we will have to report it and get it fixed right static testing gives an assessment of code and documentation so here we will have all the documentation dynamic testing gives bugs or bottlenecks in the software system okay if there are any bugs found static testing involves a checklist and process to be followed dynamic testing involves test cases for execution so in case of uh, static testing it involves certain things like what whatever we discussed right so we can follow those uh, process or techniques to the static uh, testing in case of dynamic testing it majorly involves test cases for testers okay a uh, white box testing and also uh, you know white box testing and also black box testing these techniques are part of dynamic te testing so in case of white box testing like unit testing all these are the types of testing where the developer will put the values and check it so it is kind of a dynamic testing okay there is a uh, static testing covers structural and statement coverage testing whereas the dynamic testing technique are boundary value analysis and equivalence partitioning so here we are seeing it in perspective of testing so here dynamic testing such as boundary value analysis and equivalence partitioning they will be performed as part of dynamic testing cost of finding defects and fixing is less in early stage itself we will find the defect so that's the reason cost of finding the defect and fi fixing them then and there itself before the development is you know little less or it is cheaper cost of finding and fixing defect is high here more reviews and comments are highly recommended for good quality more defects are highly recommended for good quality if we want to maintain the good quality then dynamic Uh, testing is important so then uh, you have to find the more and more defects here review comments is what it matters requires lot of meetings but comparatively dynamic testing doesn't require that much meeting it requires little lesser meeting so in case of uh, static testing we will we will have to touch base with our peers and get that review done and then after that if they want further any inputs or something again they have to get in touch with the whole technical team or whomever it is required so it is kind of it may require lot of meetings for documentation okay so this is the major difference between static testing and dynamic testing so we learned about what is static testing what is dynamic testing and what are the difference between these types of testing hope you have learned something with this video if you have like this please do like it share it and don't forget to subscribe to the channel for watching bye bye